Okay, guys, what I need to do here now is changing gears. We are here to make the switch between working for money and having money work for you. All right? I'm now, I run the affirmations now, okay? Will you get up? Will you stand up with me and we're going to run this? Will you do that? Yeah, let's do that. I was going to skip it, but you know what? It's a good gig, so we're going to do it. Let's go. All right. See, I'm, I'm running exactly one hour late. All right? Now I know where I am. How do you get rich? Remember we started there? I asked you, asked you to ask each other, how do you get rich? If I was to ask you, just met you now, Clemens, how do you get rich? Win a lot of Win a lot of Good man. <laughs> how do you get rich? Pay yourself first. What's the main goal of paying yourself first? Chain reaction. Another word for chain reaction is build your asset base. Do you understand? I come up to you now and say, Paul, how do you get rich? You build your asset base. Karen, how do I get rich? You build your asset base. Do you understand what I'm saying here? How do you get... It's no longer something out there. You now got it. All right? How do you get rich? You build an asset base. You have your money work for you. Right? Imagine your kids ask you this question. Imagine you ask yourself this question, how do I get rich? Right? Everybody's trying to look for that break, for that opportunity. Well, guys, the opportunities will come if you, set, you position yourself like the opportunity came for my grandfather, came for my father, came for myself. Why? Because I'm always looking. I don't get me wrong. It doesn't matter how many business deals I will get in and out, profits I will make out of things. I'm always growing my chain reaction. I'm always growing my asset base. You get that? Right? Now, what comes up for you? Next one. Are we wealthy? Okay? Are you wealthy right now? Imagine the kids ask you this question. Mom, Dad, are we rich? I just want to show you something. I was in New York. I went to the United Nations uh, uh, building there and, uh, and the office there and and it was this funny statistic. It went like this. If you have access to an engine, you have a key that can turn an engine at any given time, or, and, sorry, not or, and access to an engine and access to a hot shower at will. Any moment you want to turn on an engine or have a hot shower, you're in the top 6% of wealth on the planet Earth. Every single person in this room is really rich. Okay? Imagine you ask yourself this question. What comes up for you? What is wealth? What is it? We'll talk some serious concepts about that today. Okay? Peace of mind is the beginning of wealth. Imagine your kids, your kids ask you a question. Hopefully after today you will say to your kids going forward, Johnny, we don't do income here. You understand you're going to go get income. But the moment you get a job, have your money work for you. Get that? There's $10, then $20, then 100 Do you understand? And into a moment where you have enough assets working for you, and working for you becomes a choice rather than I have to. Right? Imagine your kids ask, you know, you imagine you ask yourself this question. What is wealth? What comes up for you? What's poverty? What is it? What can you buy when you are poor. Okay. Personally, the ability to create lots of money is a... Okay. Have a look at the options. A privilege. A gift. A land skill. A blessing. Duty. Maybe all the above, huh? I would not mind being worth. Now, guys, I want you to get your book. Okay? I would not mind being worth. Write down a number. Okay? Now, I wouldn't mind if you stand up. Are you still standing with me? I would not mind being worth how much? Write down a number. Okay? Please write down the number. A realistic expectation for you. Would it be 400,000? Would it be 1 million? 
I wouldn't mind being worth how much? Would it be two million? It would it be four million? Would it be five million? Or would it be a hundred million? Write down a number. Wrote down, everybody wrote down a number? Okay, check this out now. This is a great little moment. Did you write down the number? Everybody nod yes? yes? Can you get it? Yes. Get present. Can you get, are you an Australian resident? Mm -hmm. Any non-residents here? Are you an Australian resident? Yes. Can you get it? Yes. There is no no in the room. Whatever number you wrote down. There is no no's. Okay? Is there enough scope for you to get it? Yes. If you guys, you got, you, all of this work we have done about beliefs and no, 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 no. If you write down a number and you go, oh, blah, blah, blah. if you make the decision, I'm going to go for it, the how is going to show up. But you already have it. Okay, you're going to build an asset base one step at a time. Oh, Julia, well, you don't understand. I'm only on 50 grand. I can save only $10 a week. Well, at the end of this year, you're going to have a $500 share portfolio. We're going to start from there. You get this? So I'm building an asset base. Well, where we go? All right? Hopefully, you're going to do some work on you so you're not going to stay on 50 grand. You increase your income. Are you, as of now, tracking to get it? Yes. yes. All right? I want to do something with you now. Double the number. Just double it. Can you still get it? Yes. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that? Do you understand that a lot of people are doing this? Is the very first time in their life they wrote down a number. Do you get this? Doesn't matter their backgrounds, their ammo. It's often it's the very first time that people actually wrote it down. Okay. Is there enough scope for you to get it? Yes. Are you tracking to get it? Yes. We just doubled the number, just wrote it. But if I say to you, are you tracking to get it? it? has to do, do you understand this? If it goes from belief in your heart, but now this is the moment which is ought to sink into your stomach. What are you going to do when you leave here? First thing you're going to do is make the decision to stop paying yourself first. You've got to, first thing you've got to do. Okay? Start looking at your debt, getting serious about your income. What can you do? If you keep doing exactly what you did just before you came, things will not change. The results are going to stay the same. All right? That's guys, I want to do some affirmations. Okay, what are we going to do? This is this. We're going to, I'm going to read it, and then we're going to say it together. Is that all right? There's nothing I'm going to say here that's going to confront whatever belief, belief system you have. I don't believe so. If it confronts whatever you believe, you don't want to say it, just don't say it. Okay? So I'm going to read it, and then we're going to say it together. I'm wealthy and money obeys me. I am wealthy and money obeys me. Okay? Money is my servant. All right? All right, here we go. Sorry. I'm wealthy and money is my servant. Next, sorry. I am wealthy and money is my servant. Right? I am wealthy and I am generous. I am wealthy and I am generous. I am wealthy because for me, money multiplies. I'm wealthy because for me, money multiplies. I am wealthy because I am. Wealthy because I am. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I was born that way. Born that way. See guys, stop being hooked on a story. Reset. Whatever your numbers are, your numbers have no feelings. You do. It's a matter of looking at your numbers and say, okay, from now on you work for me. Not like this. See, we're meant to be the head, not the tail. Okay? It's taking that posture. It says, my numbers, I'm aware of you, and from now on, we're going to commit to get it moving. Okay? Regardless of what the numbers are. And you line them, look at them, aligning. You are only as rich as you are. Get this.
you are only as rich as you are. You cannot go outside of your self-image. Can't do it. So when I ask you to write down a number, that's you creating your possibility. Okay? When I ask you to double the number, it's just suddenly you just double the possibility. I've got to tell you this, guys. If a guy who comes into the country can't speak a word, a word of English can pull this off, anyone else can. Anyone else can. Right? Please consider. You cannot be richer than what you have allowed, believed, and so desired yourself to be. Cannot. Right? Belief leads to possibility and desire to discipline and preparation. There is a lot of discipline in getting wealthy. A lot of discipline. The simplest and the foremost one, the biggest one, start paying yourself first. And things will follow from there. Next one is for us to read and study and talk about wealth. Okay? Just because you can. Right? Teaching part is now completed. All right? Guys, take a seat.